What's up, everybody? It's Jason here in Boom Fan Productions. Thank you all so much for coming to my channel today because we have a reaction today of a very special series that's coming to Paramount Plus. So, today we're reacting to the new trailer that just debuted for Tulsa King, which is streaming on Paramount Plus exclusively there on early November. So, this one, Tulsa King, it's made by the same creator of, this t of the um, very popular TV show that I love very much, as I'm sure some of you do, called Yellowstone. And Tara Sheridan, who created the show, and has created this show as well, um, he's been given lots of lots of leeway to make lots of cool different shows from in, in, with Paramount and Paramount Plus. Um, other ones such as the, such as the Mayor of Kingstown, um, like Landman's will come out soon, as well as a few, quite a few other ones. There's a lot of different ones too, like 1883 just made as well, and I think another one's called a 1923, I think. Um, but without going too much of the Earl series, today we're focusing on Tulsa King. So this one, it stars Sylvester Stallone and quite a lot of our good actors too that I've seen on quite a lot of other movies and shows. It stars Andre Savage, Martin Starr, Matt Caselia, um, Dominic Lombardozzi, who's, not, who's an Irishman, Vincent Piazza, lots of good names, lots of good names. And then from a wide different variety of shows. But this one, this movie, this show, it's basically the story about uh, a New York mob boss who was uh, sent to jail about 25 years ago, and he and, and I think and I think um, Terry Sheeran said it best himself. He kept his mouth shut. He um, he did his duty. He wasn't the rat, so he kept his mouth shut for 25 years to his release. And now he's being now he was after his release, um, the main mob bosses are telling him to stay set up shop in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So this one, it's all about. I know much about it. There hasn't been too much trailer except for this one I've seen. I've seen some behind the scenes part of it, which looks pretty cool. But um, yeah, I'm excited. I've, I I don't think, has there been a, a TV series yet with Spencer Stallone? Uh, not that I can think of the top of my head, but it'd be very interesting to see him in, in TV format, because obviously he's been doing most stuff with, with movies, such as fame from, from Rambo, and a lot of different other shows and movies, some action ones too. But it'd be interesting to see him in a TV show. So I'm excited. Let's get right into this trailer today. I kept my mouth shut for 25 years. I don't know what you're expecting. Now that you're back. I'm expecting adequate compensation. Tulsa. What's Tulsa? I want you to go there. The horse race, the Springboard Mile. There's nobody doing nothing. You can do whatever you want. Not exactly the welcome I was expecting. Name's Tyson. Welcome to Tulsa. Two grand a week. You drive for me now. What crew runs this neighborhood? No crew up in here. We're in the middle of nowhere. What will it be? I assume you don't have Keontae. You assume correctly. I wouldn't have pegged you as the Boy right. Scout. Why not? This wasn't necessary. What is that place? It's a dispensary. Ah! Oh, my God. Is he dead? No, he's taking a break. This is how it's going to work. I'll protect you from the gangs. What gangs? And the law. This is legal. You got to know your risk. There was no risk until you came along. Ever heard of Black McAdam? Motorcycle gang. You're overplaying your hand. When I play my hand, you won't see it coming. Any flammable liquids or firearms? In the box? Nah. This situation is not going to be controllable for much longer. Get down! You got a pretty good appetite for someone who was just shot at. If I stopped eating every time somebody tried to hurt me, I'd be a skeleton. I want to be up front with you. It could get ugly. If they were in the mafia? Nah, there's no such a thing. Is this a one-off or one of many? Too soon to tell. Cool. Number 13th. Exclusively on Paramount Plus. So yeah, that was a good that was a, that was a good first trailer that I've seen. Um yeah, so first impressions. Um I really like it. I like this kind of, this kind of stuff, this kind of um thriller, high acting stuff that Terry Sharon does. I mean, because he's his action movies and his action adventures or dramas, they aren't necessarily um, they're not just because some of the old way of action movies, just like with ex cool explosions and cool, 
just 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 try and make it look 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 as as um action packed as possible. What Taylor, Sher- what Taylor Sheridan does his movies, um, from his first directorial debut in Hell or High Water up until the shows and movies he does now, um, he uses that some. But he understands that that's not what it's all about. It's all about the story, too. And I like how he builds his stories um, and with the, the action intertwined. So the action is not the main part, but the stories with action around them. So he puts his characters through quite a bit of <laughs> action, quite a bit of danger, which I really love. And um, I like, like I've seen all his shows and movies. Uh, I, I've, I've, yeah, I, like, I, love, I love Yellowstone. Actually... This is coming out just before the new season of Yellowstone comes out. So we get maybe a little, little bit of binge watching both, okay? So that'd, that'd be cool to do. And um, yeah, I, I like, loved 1883. Um, I love Mary Kingstown. That one's going to get a new season as well. Um, they're almost done filming, I believe. And um, I love everything it does. And this one looks looks just the same. Um, yeah, I like Sylvester Stallone. I always like seeing the movies. And seeing movies. But, but it'll be interesting to see him in a TV show. So I'm excited to see how he does in a TV show format. But I like it. I like it, right? And just going back through it a little bit. Yes, yeah, like I said before, starts in New York City. After, after he gets out of prison. And he thinks he's, thinks he's going to be just really welcome to end in, in, in part of the New York Mafia business as well. But in turn, the tides turn on him. And he's sent basically to exile, basically. And um, it adds another, another level of cool story with it. With it. And I also like how Terry Sheridan with his with his shows. He shows parts. He he uses locations and parts of the U.S. that aren't very that aren't very used too much in that aren't like filmed that aren't like ones that we've seen um, in quite a while on the on the big screen or in the small screen in this case. But um, yeah, like Tulsa, Oklahoma. Can you name any movies or TV shows from Tulsa, Oklahoma? I definitely can't. Um, so I'm glad that there are looking looking trying to invest more movies and more productions into these more un these more um less shown cities and towns because that's also because they're also part of america too and part of our story and i like how he likes to use these little towns and not necessarily the big towns like this is the first actually this is the biggest trailer you saw in new york city that's the first time he's ever used a major town i think in one of his series because that's all it's a small town rule because he tries to tell because he tries to tell the stories of people from who are aren't in the big cities and the big states, just something a little bit, you know, something a little more um, new and refreshing that I really like to see. And obviously, the Tokyo, South Oklahoma, not 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 a very big city, um, but it's a little size of a city um, with quite a lot of history, there, a lot of important history there. And um, I'm excited to see what Tulsa has to offer for this show. And it's cool to see how these these new themes like, like these because usually we see gangster movies like you and see you know, like gangster movie like like ranches ranches are best horseback movie riding, ranches and, and horseback riding and, and gangster shows and gangster movies you you really don't see a lot of that um, except for the Untouchables but <laughs> to right now um, this so yeah just like I said before there's so many good things that Oklahoma and um, state of Oklahoma and also different just things that. You don't want to normally see, so I think it's it's a great term. I like it when they when 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 hot when um when there are movies and TV, they try to do something new with old stories. Like for example, like this is my my impression of it. I think I think actually a producer from The Sopranos is actually on this. I saw, so I do like that they are trying to do something new. We'll try to basically give um kind of the same kind of not exact same kind of feel, but a similar feel to like The Sopranos that kind of show. With this, but in a whole new location, so that offers a whole lot, a lot of new possibilities and good storylines. I'm excited to see. Uh, so I'm excited to see. I wonder if this. I wonder how many episodes of this. Usually, I think usually usually it's. I know it's less than. Um, because usually the the major studios back about usually some major like, like NBC or ABC or Fox. Those ones they do like like, like well over like 25, 30 episodes a season. But they, these ones, you know, on streaming platforms usually only between. Right, eight to eight to like twelve or thirteen usually. So I'm guessing this one will be probably the same. But yeah, I'm liking everything I'm seeing in this. I'm liking everything I'm seeing in this too. 
And I, I do like the I do like some of the camera work, some of the, some of the lighting, the colors too. Yeah, I like the I like some of those colors here and good temp card temperatures. I like this regular lighting here. I like this lighting. It's not not too over not too o not over the top, just enough I think. And I really that's depth and story to it. Yeah, I'll use the green, purple as I said before. And I like it. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That's actually cool. Look at something. Something I'll see. Look at that. Wonder what happens there. Um. But yeah, there's a lot, a lot of good tidbits in this trailer. A lot of good tidbits in this trailer. And um, it's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a good. One, I think. And it streams this November thirteenth. So that was Tulsa King coming out next next month, ex streaming exclusively on. Paramount Plus. So I Paramount Plus, and I'm definitely going to see that because I love everything Terry Sheeran does, and I love Sylvester Stallone stuff. So I'm going to watch it right when it comes out. So that was Total King I said before, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you all so much for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, I really do appreciate it. And I, I'm excited that we're just about to reach 150 subscribers. So I'm very excited we're reaching that milestone. And we got some great content coming forward on this channel more videos, more TV shows. And I'm so excited. And again, if you have any comments or questions, comment below and I'll sure I'll try and answer them or if you have any suggestions for future videos I might even do that as well if I haven't already write to them or I might just do and if I already seen them maybe I might do like a, a review of it so thank you all so much for watching and always remember become a film fanatic